All right, Shalom. You want? Yep. Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, um, uh, first and foremost, we're giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kodash. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And uh, Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to you sincere brothers out there that push this word with truth and with faith. All right. A um, uh, couple of brothers from Great Millstone Northwest. I'm Thabua. Ah. Honor, brother Chassad. And um, uh, we got a couple of scriptures that we want to go over with you, brothers. Uh, actually, Kasad, I'll let you do. Um, I'll let you uh, uh, kind of bring us into it. All right. Well, uh, you know, <clears throat> pretty much uh, I, I was running some errands this morning, and uh, on the side of the road, it was these, you know, these two uh, so-called street preachers, you know, uh, Jake and the Edomite, and uh, Jake had a sign that said uh covet wisdom <clears throat> and i was like man that's a that's a nice topic for uh, for a sit down man because wisdom is is what we we need to to covet and uh pretty much fill our spirit with in these times because uh, of the things that's coming to pass and that we know that's that's going to be you know all the hell that's going to be brought here to america mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in, the, in the days coming all right, so while everyone else, like for instance, today is a uh, so-called Black Friday, and uh, the main people that's out there trying to take advantage of, of these deals and, you know, offers and whatnot is uh, Israelites, man. Yeah. So-called Negroes, which they're they're pretty much commemorating uh, their ancestors being uh, sold for, for dirt cheap on auctioning blocks, mm -hmm. all right, in the 1800s and, and, and so on and so forth. All right, so... Um, you know, uh, instead of taking it, taking advantage of uh, what Esau can give you, which is not going to profit in the day of the Lord, uh, we're focused on uh, taking advantage of uh, uh, the precious gift that, that comes from Yahweh Shemiah Shah. That's right. right. That's right. Um, first scripture we're going to read is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, starting at verse 6. It says, uh, for though a man be never so like it, for though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Right. So you can be perfect in regards to a, a man, a mortal man. You know, when you look at some of these actors, all right, A-list actors, uh, in the eyes of a mortal man, they're perfect. Mm -hmm. Like look at a so-called uh, uh, Will Smith. Uh, Israelite, right? All his, uh, all his uh, box office movies. You know, he he grosses the most uh, consecutive. Uh, 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 he makes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. All right, every every movie he comes out with is, is like it's a blockbuster. Blockbuster hit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, consecutively, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you would look from the outside. Uh, in and, and, and think that this dude is life is perfect, you know, smart, smart cat, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, athletically fit, uh, a, a nice family or whatever. But really, all that is one big, one big uh, magic show, man. Yep. You know, when really this dude is inside, he's hollow, you know, like the apostle goes into fame, uh, meaning uh, uh, hungry, you know, you're, you're empty, you're hungry, you're, you're, you're hungry for something, all right. Uh, and being hungry in this road, you'll never find what it is you're seeking for as an Israelite. Right. You know? Right. It's the only thing that can, um, only thing that's really, that can satisfy the Israelite soul would be, uh, the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. But our people, they, like we're reading, they, they don't have that, um, they don't have that wisdom, man. They, they don't even try to, um, uh, try to regard it as, as something that is going to help them, uh, uh, actually be successful in the, in the grand scheme of things versus having something that's that's shiny right now you know yeah. and that's that's um these the people like will smith they're not going to be regarded man you know they they will smith is is not a name that's thrown around in the heavens man Hell no. <laughs> on the left hand side on the left hand <laughs> side but he, he ain't he ain't nothing to uh uh to to the, the ones that matters yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, did you want to continue with Wisdom of Solomon? Or? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Um, which one do you want to grab next? Oh, we can we can jump to uh, 
Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, um, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right, so the fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. You know, that's uh, like you, uh, you or the, the, the cartoon uh, with Scrooge McDuck. Mm -hmm. he, he had all that big ass swimming pool of, 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 gold. of gold yep imagine imagine each piece of that gold is is a uh, is a spirit of of the elect mm. you know what i'm saying so because you fear the heavenly father your your spirit is 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 considered gold and it's 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 in safekeeping you know what i'm saying so hey, the fear of the lord is his treasure man mm -hmm. versus you know uh the fear of this world or or, or you know, actual treasure, uh, gold in this world, physical, tangible treasure, uh, tangible gold. Okay, the the fear of the Lord is is what's gonna um uh, propel and and guide you in in these days to come. When you read uh Wisdom of Solomon, I want to say it's the uh, see that the ninth or tenth chapter, it goes into um uh, uh you know the the uh, the fear that that certain of uh, the sons of, of the Lord had, mm -hmm. you know, and, and how that, uh, how that, how that, uh, guided, guided them. I believe it was talking about, uh, our forefather Jacob, you know, um, but if, if you want to say something, I got a, I got a quick precept actually, okay. um, to go along with what you were saying. And that's found in Proverbs, uh, chapter 15. Um, so like, yeah, as I flip to it, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33, and it says, um, it says, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. Mm. So like the brother was saying, you know, th th that fear of the Lord is what helps uh, uh, guide you. You know, that's what that's what helps you um, uh, help help your uh, your toes from uh, pricking the, the stone, you know, yeah. having that fear of the Lord, man. So this the scripture said it's um, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And I thought that was pretty spot on with what you were just saying. But did you find that wisdom of Solomon that you was looking uh, for? Okay. Um, uh, wisdom of Solomon. Uh, nine or uh, ten, actually. Wisdom of Solomon, ten. And we can start at a verse. Uh, um. Yeah, uh, yeah, we can start at uh, 7. Verse 7? Verse uh, 6. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, verse 6. When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire, which fell down upon the five cities. Right, and that's that's a... a, a, a um, what's the word I'm looking for? A micro version of what's going to happen to America, because mm. what's gonna happen to America is gonna be a, a macro version, you know, a, a big, a big version of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yep. All right, those five cities. All right, so instead of this time one, one, uh, one man fleeing, one righteous man is gonna be the elect. That's you know the hundred forty-four thousand in the elect that's here in the Americas. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, elect being scattered all around the world. 144,000 being scattered around the world, but those righteous souls that's here in the Americas is going to be delivered from from what's going to happen uh, to this place in the in the, the, the form of the uh, thermonuclear destruction. Okay. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Uh, reading on, this is verse seven. Of whose wickedness, even to this day, the land. I'm sorry. Uh, even to this day, the waste land that smoketh is a testimony. And plants bearing fruit have never come to ripeness, and a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. Right. So a uh, lost wife is a, a monument of what's going to happen to uh, unbelieving souls. Okay. Mm. For regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt, uh, that they knew not the things which were good, but also left behind them to the world of a memorial of their foolishness so that in the things wherein they offered 
they could not so much as be who, hid. Who, who they offended? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so that in the things wherein they offended, they could not so much as uh, be hid. So, right, so the thing they offended was, you know, them being homosexuals. And that couldn't be hid because we read today of their destruction. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it said that, um, it said that, uh, uh, for regarding, uh, not wisdom, they got only this hurt. Yep. All right. So that's, that shows you how important wisdom is, man. You know, uh, keeps you upright, uh, and it'll deliver you from, uh, from destruction in the case of, uh, a lot. Yep. All right. Uh, you keep going. You, you got to think about how, like, cause wisdom, if, if, if somebody is, uh, is wise, they're not gonna fall into the same snares and traps that a foolish person would. Right. You know, they're gonna they're gonna be far far from it. You know, so that's that's another reason on why um, uh, coveting wisdom is going to behoove uh, uh, behoove us here in this time, man. Because we can see it a mile away that it's not a good idea to you know go to that stadium packed full of people during the time of, <laughs> during yeah. an earthquake or you know during a the, the hurricane or something you know yeah. we can we can see that from from a mile away that nah that's not that's not a good look yeah. you know but the foolish people these people that really rely on this society they they don't got nothing uh you know what i'm saying they got they got they, they're gonna fall right into that hey uh, that demon little wayne he had a song where he had like an interlude or something like that on the end of a song or something he said he said i don't care if uh uh, 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 did, did the GPS tell you to go there? He did, go that way. He said, "Don't go there." Or something, something like that. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly how he said it, but it was funny though. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So even if if you know all the you know uh, Esau's uh, telecast broadcast systems or, or signs or you know word of mouth. During destruction, oh, uh, come here, FEMA's here. Right. No, 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 <laughs> no. Basically saying, come to this concentration yeah. camp, you know. Yeah, your death awaits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, read knowing it says, um, it says, but wisdom delivered uh, from pain those that at attended upon her. Yeah, that's, that's the, uh... yeah, that's the point. Actually, read it, yeah, it, it keeps going. It says, um, when the righteous fled from his brother, his brother's wrath, she guided him in right paths. And that's speaking about our forefather, Jacob. Mm -hmm. It says, um, showed him, showed him the kingdom of the heavenly father and gave him knowledge of holy things, which, um, I'm sorry, of holy things made him rich in his travels and multiplied the fruit of his labors. Yeah. Yeah, all his travails, mm -hmm. all his, all the the, the the persecution and hell he went through, likewise with us, all the persecution and hell we go through, the Lord is making us rich because our our spiritual bank account is being uh, increased. Yeah, you know, like uh, Matthew six, the sixth chapter goes into us slaying up our, our treasures in heaven. Revel Revelation says that too. You know, I know thy thy works and thy uh, poverty but thou art rich and yeah. the reason that we're rich is because it's you know we're actually storing up spiritual riches man storing up treasure in heaven versus on earth yeah. all right um so yeah that's the point on that that's the point on that um we can jump back to so now we can grab uh that james one and uh, I, i'll read it okay um this is a uh, james one and five it says if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that give it to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Yeah, so um, it's as simple as that, man. To to be able to start getting wisdom, you know, if if you feel that you're lacking in wisdom, all you got to do is sincerely ask of the Heavenly Father, man, mm -hmm. because he 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 gives those spiritual um those spiritual gifts like that. He'll he'll give those out liberally, man. You know, if you're actually going to sit and apply it and, and your heart's right for it, most I will give you all the wisdom that you can handle, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that goes along with what, what uh, what's that? The first Corinthians mm -hmm. that um, uh, saying to uh, heap onto you the spiritual gifts. Yeah. yeah. Wisdom. Wisdom is a um, wisdom and knowledge. Like we read is going to be the stability of thy times, man. That's something that 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 we constantly got to be uh we constantly got to be building up on that collection you know mm -hmm. 
Next scripture, Proverbs 16 and 16, it says, How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Right? How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, man? All right? Because gold, like like uh, Yahweh Shai said it, Yahweh Shai studied it the best, man. Lay not up for yourself uh, treasures here on earth where uh, thieves can break through or moth and dust do corrupt right it's better to have that wisdom than to get gold man all right that wisdom is really that, that'll help you get out of a situation that gold they'll kill you for the gold man yeah. you know so uh that, that that's a um how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and understanding rather than uh rather to be chosen than silver yeah. you know that's that's a, a much more it holds a lot more weight even though it's not a a, a physical thing yeah and uh zephaniah tells you um uh that that the rich uh the silver and gold is not going to deliver the rich mm -hmm. you know so yeah. if, if with that being understood that silver and gold in in the, in the, the days to come ain't gonna um uh you know deliver those that have it all right it's best to store up uh store up uh that, that spiritual treasure man right you know and get that wisdom that it, that'll be that flashlight uh in, in the, the dark. dark yeah because that's what's coming dark days man it's coming right yeah we was uh we were speaking about will smith earlier hey will smith <laughs> he's gonna be in a in a world of hurt man you know when 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 the times really get bad man when the time of jacob's trouble is is in full um uh what's the word fruition fruition mm -hmm. something like that um, when when it when it's when it's in full gear, you know, um, uh, Will Smith, all those riches and him having uh, awards for movies and all that, that's not none of that's gonna gonna be able to help him, man. But actually having the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures is gonna be able to to guide you through those times. Yeah. So it's it's much better. It's a much better um, be the strength of salvation. Yep. Yep. Um. Last scripture. First Corinthians fourteen. First Corinthians fourteen. <clears throat> I'll read it. Mm -hmm. uh, just verse one. 14 and 1. Okay. It says, uh, uh, Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. Right. And we went over this at uh, at camp last week. Hey, rather that you can prophesy, because that's, that's the best thing. That's the best thing going at the moment is to actually be a prophet, man. All right. To be able to say when you when you know that something's going to happen before it happens you can you can properly prepare for it you know you can properly prepare for it at least uh uh get mentally prepared for it so um uh that that prophecy is a uh uh is is a, is a strong it's a strong thing man because what we're telling people is that this place america is about to be destroyed man and that yahweh shia himself is coming back and he's only looking for the righteous of the israelites all right and he's not he's not looking for for everybody it's not what the Christians have uh, said that everybody and anybody can, can be saved and it's going to make it, you know. So uh, that that prophecy it must go out there is very important. But we're supposed to be desiring those spiritual gifts, man. All right, mm -hmm. and and you know, covet wisdom. That's that's going to be uh, it. It will behoove you. It will behoove you to covet wisdom. Right? And yeah, like uh, like like the scriptures say, when Yahweh Shai returns, shall he find faith, faith on, on earth. earth? Yeah. All right. So spiritual gifts. Or it can be attributed to faith, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when 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 it's all said and done, and the Lord finds that faith on the earth, the only thing getting reaped from the earth before it gets destroyed, certain parts of it, mm -hmm. you know, but in particular Babylon the Great, before it gets destroyed, that that faith is going to be reaped. The souls the, the souls that have that faith is going to be reaped from the earth. So. It's best to the, the desire those spiritual gifts because anything that's carnal or tangible or or, or, or fickle is a uh, is gonna be turned into a worse than a pillar of salt. Man. Right. You know. Right. Uh, worse than the, uh, the the unbelieving soul that memorial of an unbelieving soul being Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. Uh Well, <laughs> on this go around, it ain't even gonna be that. It's it's gonna you're gonna be turning back into the vapors, man. Right. You know. All the wicked of uh, of our people, along with the the other nations, you know, the, the heathens. 
You're going to be one with the elements. One with the elements. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I believe it's in what, first or second Peter, it tells you that the elements is going to be melted with fervent heat. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's that's something that um, I desperately, you know, and I know, I know, I know you as well, that mm -hmm. desperately do not... We, we want to avoid that at all at costs, all costs, man. Don't go there. <laughs> don't go. Hey, even if they tell you, yeah, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, so, hey, uh, Lord willing, uh, this message has been received, man. You know, covet, covet after wisdom. Mm -hmm. Covet all the spiritual gifts, but but wisdom. Yeah, keep yeah. keep building and, and uh, uh, reaping on that, man. Yeah. You know? So that way you can be found fruitful and, and worth something versus... The majority, the mass majority of the people that's that's here, that's not going to be um, uh, worth anything, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, Lord willing, uh, brothers was edified and learned something. Uh, Till next time, we say shalom, Michael. Shalom.